What's up, y'all? J.R. Riemann back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes, where today we're actually going to take out that new four-color hammer effect. I got a typical 45 by 4.5 by 45 layout on it, and I've actually got it on a 49-foot sport pattern, a little bit softer sport pattern. It's got quite a bit of friction on it, so you're still going to see the ball move a lot, um, but we're going to take it across the lane and see what it's got over here. Uh, a lot of people are hyping this ball up. They're saying it's a really good bowling ball, and I'm about to leave for Vegas, so if it does pretty well, it might actually end up in my bag to go out there because I've got to decide on six balls still. So we're going to take it out here on the 49-foot lead condition, or I'm sorry, 49-foot sport condition here in a minute, so stay tuned. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. All right, here we go. So we're out here on a 45, 49 lip foot sport shot where we're going to practice next to Dr. G's striking a lot with the new conspiracy ball, the black conspiracy. So we're going to take, we're going to take the hammer effect out here. They're making all kinds of big deal about it because it's got the four color technology or whatever they say, four colors in the ball. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't really care about the colors, more or less. <laughs> I care about what it does on the lanes. So I'm gonna start with my feet on 20. I'm trying to hit like that oh, 10, 11, 12 range and then we'll move left. Oh, missed left. But it's 49 feet, so we actually get a little bit of motion down there than what you would typically, or a little bit of push more than you would see. So we're just going to start jumping left because this ball is going to look good from all over the lane, I imagine. Everybody's talking about how strong this thing is, especially for like a pearl or a real shiny type bowling ball. So I'm moving five left, and we're going to see what it does. That thing picked up and really got going. So the cool thing is, is for the World Series of Bowling, uh, we're bowling on the Badger pattern, the long 49 foot. I think, well, is it? I think they made it 45 feet, but it's, yeah, I don't know. But a longer pattern. So this ball may come into play. The problem, my question is, is this going to be in play at the Masters? Because the Masters is generally 39 to 41 feet. I mean, I'm sure it will be, so it'll probably end up going with me. Just seeing the strength of this thing is a good thing. Those patterns are definitely higher volume, so getting the ball going is, is a very key thing to do. Yeah, that's just dirty. That's sick nasty. So, I mean, last year we were the Masters was in Detroit, and we were using all stronger stuff there, too. And that was a pattern kind of like this, but even higher volume where we stayed further right. So this ball would have been really good there. We're moving five more left here. Now we're standing on 30. Rotate just a little bit more and create a little bit of left to right motion. You can see how far down lane it's getting, but that may be a product of a 49 foot pattern too. 49 feet it's going to shove the ball down there you can see it start to read in the middle of the lane because of the lighter volume but it doesn't quit it doesn't like hydroplane and then just puke it kind of skids through there a little bit more and then picks up in the back part of the lane which is nice all right moving five more left a little bit more rotation It's throwing pins everywhere. And it's getting further and further down lane because we're moving further and further left. So it looks pretty good though. No, there ain't no stopping this one right now. Everybody's raving about this ball. Everybody's raving about this thing. All right, five more left. Let's see what it does in here. Might have to start slowing down a little bit so it doesn't go too far. Oh, still too far. I slowed down and it still went too far. 
Man, that thing looks so good though. Ah, I mean, I just slowed down a little bit. And it still went a little too far. So, well, that's gonna make it just go more left or right. We don't wanna do that. I want to slow down a little bit more. Oh, there's just so much volume in that middle part of the lane. It's going to scoot forever. But it looks really good. Like, that's a little ridiculous, to be completely honest. A little ridiculous. By the way, this is a Bolify shirt. This is one of the designs we have in the pro shop. I figured I'd put it on and show you guys one of the designs that Bolify has. So I think I have a code still for Bolify. I'll put that link in the description for you if you want to order something and get a, uh, get a percentage off. <laughs> So we're gonna get against the ball return now and slow down even more. Get this big shiny bowling ball to really pick up. <laughs> this thing will do whatever I say. This is my baby. This is gonna be the baby. And it's gonna be a baby that actually listens. This one's good. It's not my design, bro. Oh boy. Oh, tripping fours. I thought I missed right. I thought I missed right for a minute. I lied. I didn't. Ball reaction said otherwise. Off my hand, I said, oh no, that's right. And the ball said, what are you talking about? I got plenty of juice, plenty of juice. And this is on 49 feet, folks. Remember, this thing's a monster. Oh, that ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Did you see that one hit? <laughs> Look, as soon as it hit the lane. <laughs> All right, let's give you a reference. Let's give you a reference. So now, I'll take something like uh, this archetype. Let's take the archetype hybrid from up against the ball return and compare it to that. It's got the same layout on it. So let's see what this does opposed to it. Much lazier, but it still did a pretty good job. I like that. Still did a pretty good job. Doesn't rev up quite like the hammer effect does. Yeah, it's, yeah. What is this hammer effect? Is it a hybrid or a pearl? I think it's a pearl. I think it's a pearl. Because the archetype's a hybrid. So, let's see how well this thing does going straighter. Pick the speed up through the friction. Let's see if it'll get through there. Oh, there we go, folks. That is the hammer effect by hammer, the four color hammer. And uh, let me lower you down here, man. I looks like I'm so short. I look so short. That's the hammer effect. You can get yours over at the link in the description at bowlerx.com. I'm gonna have one down there for you. If you wanna get one of the Bolify jerseys, there's also gonna be a link down there to order your own. I'm doing a giveaway over at 10pindoctors.com. Just confirmed, hammer effect is a pearl. So. Uh, we are doing a giveaway over at 10pindoctors.com. Go ahead, go over there, sign up as a member. You get, uh, you get access to all of the giveaways. This giveaway will be a $100 gift card to Bolify. So get one of these bowling balls in the link in the description. That's all I got for you. Until next time, see you guys later. Take care.